Um, there is a history that is attached to something you are dealing with right now. The lack you are in, there is a history that is attached to it. How will Samuel could have learned to deal with this situation in the barren temple if the mother did not handle the barrenness of bringing him forth? Someone say there is a history. So, we talk too much about Abraham sacrificing his son. We talk too much about the sacrifice of Isaac. But we ignore what Anna did. It was a sacrifice for Anna to go through everything she went through and still releases the son to the temple. It's not easy for any woman to release the child she has nursed and mended and she just releases the child to the temple. Someone say the sacrifice of a mother. Say again the sacrifice of a mother. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if the service is predictable, then it lacks the flavor and the power of God. If the praise and worship is predictable, it lacks the Destinies of the praise and worship. If the preacher man is predictable, the preaching lacks the power and the anointing of God. There is something about unpredictable. It is what is unpredictable that carries the weight of the manifestation. Someone say the unpredictable. You see, ladies and gentlemen, something unpredictable moves the heart of God. It moves the heart of God when it is unpredictable. Let me talk to the married women in this place place. If you are used to a certain way of doing things to your husband, then your husband will not be turned on until the day you learn to do unpredictable cooking. There is a way you serve chapati. There is a way you serve ugali. But there is something that comes with the unpredictable. So the Bible says uh, it's at night and the service is going on in the house of God. Someone say the anointing of the night shift. <laughs> we all talk about the joy of God coming in the morning. But there is something about the night shift. There is, there is a, a mystery about the night shift. <laughs> the truth is 90% of you who are seated here, you are, you are, you are, you are were conceived in the night it was the relationship that was conducted in the night that gave birth to the product that is seated next to you there is something about the night shift some will say the night shift the girl the gates of the prison the gates were opened in the night shift the covenant between Abraham and God was made in the night shift the sacrifice of Isaac was in the night shift when Jacob was coming back home, the covenant was sealed in the night shift. Praise the name of God. Uh, the healing of the blind but Myers, uh, it was during the night shift. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, according to the disciples, uh, it was during the day. <laughs> but something that puts you in the dark, it is something that is in the night shift. So the truth is before I preach, a big percentage of us, we are in the night shift. We are in the night shift. And in that night shift, the Lord is looking forward to unpredictable service. Praise the name of God. The unpredictable worship. It has not to be Sunday morning, but I can call the worship service in my house. It has not to be Sunday afternoon but I can call the praise service in my house. It is the unpredictable service that moves the heart of God. Something you do out of the program, something you do out of the management, the unpredictable service is going to bring God to where you are. The unpredictable service. Praise the name of God. So it's at night and there is nobody in the temple someone say at night and there is nobody
nobody in the temple. The praise team is not there. The ushers are not there. The preachers are not there. Uh, the, 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 the house managers are not there. But what we have in the temple, we have what we call the priest and Samuel because the work of Samuel was to do the redressing of the flickering flame in the house of God. They believed every time the flame went off, the presence of God ceased to be in the temple. So there are only two people in the temple. Praise the name of God. God does not need the multitude. He can move anywhere. You can praise him in your sitting room and he will move. You can praise him in your bed and Jesus will show up. You can praise him in the washroom and he will show up. You can praise Praise him when you are doing your business and he will show up. Praise the name of God. Someone say he will show up. <laughs> or can I put it this way? The Bible says where two or three gather in the name of the Lord, he is in the midst. Praise the name of God. When it comes to him, the first person you need is yourself. And the second person you need is the Holy Spirit. The unpredictable service does not need a prophet. It does not need a preacher. It does not need an evangelist. The unpredictable service needs me and myself. I'm about to preach here. Maybe I'm preaching to myself. Praise the name of God. You know most of you, you are used to a certain worship that has never moved God for the last 10 years, for the last 5 years. Your praise have never brought the glory of God down because it's so usual. Somebody say the usual. The usual. Listen to me. The usual things does not turn the heart of God on. The usual singing, the usual preaching, the usual dancing, the usual giving in the house of God does not turn the heart of God on. The Bible says in this temple, the glory of God is ceasing and there was a usual place where the priest was sitting. The usual place of the priest someone say the usual place is dangerous the usual place can waste your destiny the usual place can waste the real person you are the usual place can stay you in the same situation forever now the priest is always in the usual place because the anointing in his life has dried up but in this temple, there is a boy. There is a boy that God is about to introduce. Listen to me, church. The next level comes by confusion. When God is about to trigger the shift in your environment, he makes everybody confused. So the confusion you are experiencing in that environment is a sign that God is about to cause a shift. When God is about to cause a promotion in your workplace, he allows the confusion. The treasurers will become thieves. The managers will begin coming to work late. Don't criticize. That is the moment you need to call yourself to the unpredictable service. Preach. Shadrach preach. Someone say confusion is a sign that God is about to cause a shift to cause a shift the confusion will be there and that is the state of this temple everything is confused the priest Eli is sleeping the priest is sleeping in the usual place someone say the usual place I refuse being in the usual place May the Lord help someone in this place so that you may come out of the usual place. The usual breakthroughs will not take you anywhere. The usual miracles will not tear the enemy away. I say the usual things will not scare the witches and sorcerers. You need a miracle that is unusual. Some must say unusual. A new show miracle, a new show miracle. Have you ever prepared food and your husband asks you, How did you do this? 
Have you ever came for the service? You are a worshiper and you told God, God work on me this week so that when I show up myself, I may decrease that you may increase inside me. The unpredictable worshiper. Not every time you stand up, they know the song you are going to sing. Not every time you stand up, they know how you are going to carry it. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. If your service is always a, a predictable, then you are going to miss on God. We are serving God who moves through the unpredictable. Because it's at night. Praise the name of God. Have you ever seen a service of two people? Only the priest <laughs> and the temple boy. But God is in the midst to carry out the service. For the Bible says when Samuel was sleeping, the voice was heard. Someone say, the 